and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, it's another haul for you, this time from one of my favorite stores, Ikea. So obviously, it's all home stuff, unlike my other haul video, which I've posted, which was mostly clothing, mostly for my daughter. This is all home good stuff. I actually went there for two specific items to scope out. One was some new dishware. I want some all white dishware. And another is some plants, or a specific plant I've been looking for for my bedroom. So I was able to um, kind of find exactly what I'm looking for, so I'll share those with you in a little bit. But of course, I picked up a few other goodies along the way. I spent a total of $150.16 on all the items you're gonna see here. Of course, you have to deduct 79 cents for a new Ikea blue bag. Fortunately, my other bags um, that I had been collecting over the years kind of got destroyed and lost in the move, so I did have to buy a new bag. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize now that I'm going to butcher literally every single thing here. I don't know how to pronounce most of the stuff from Ikea. Um, I Some of them I'm not even going to attempt to try to pronounce, so I'm gonna apologize now, but I will show you everything and I'll show you the label and the spelling so that you know exactly what I'm looking for and I will put a link down below to everything that I bought specifically. So let's get started with the kitchen items because when you go into the marketplace and you grab yourself a cart, the first place or the first section you walk into is all of your household kitchen items. So I picked up, I'm not, this is one of the ones I'm not even going to pronounce. I'll show you the label here. I don't know how to pronounce it, but basically it's one of the things that you use. It's rubber to help you open up jars and such. So I have something similar to this but I never seem to be able to find it when I need it, even though it's in the drawer. Um, so it's always a good thing to have. And this was, I think, only like $1.99. So I picked up another one of these just to keep on hand. The next item I picked up was just this white, simple cutting board. This was only $2.99. And the reason I picked it up is to actually replace another cutting board that I already own that has warped over the years and has really bothered me that it's been warped. So this was not something that was on my original list, but when I saw it and the size it, it was perfect to replace the old worn out one that I have so I picked this one up as well. So I walked over from there to since I was already near the cutting boards over to the wooden cutting board section. I have kind of been thinking about maybe getting a few wooden cutting boards to put on display on my countertop, especially since I don't, our rental doesn't have a backsplash, so there's really no decorative elements in our kitchen. So I thought maybe I'll check some of those out. They were really kind of limited in their stock of the wooden cutting boards that I was kind of looking for in the size, but I did find these, which I was really, really excited about. So these are the Fast, Fascinera, Fascinera, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but there, I got I got them in the two different see if you can see this Ooh. <laughs> I got them in the two different sizes these I think are going to be great for not only for display on my counter but I also you know for serving when we have guests over you know safely and when you are allowed to have guests over with everything that's happening in the world right now. Um, but it's really easy just to pull one of these out and make like a really quick charcuterie board. I always have meats and cheeses and stuff in our fridge. So if people swing over, I can just pull these out really quickly and throw together some snacks to display on them. So I got the two different sizes depending on what exactly I'm displaying or if I need, you know, more than one out. So from there, I then moved on to the dishware section, which was one of the two main sections of Ikea that I went there for. And I spent a lot of time in there trying to make some decisions. So my husband thinks I buy new dishware every year. I don't. The set that we got for our wedding is really beautiful stoneware, but it's like a blackish brown, it's really dark. I had purchased in recent years a blue and white set that was fairly inexpensive to go with our kitchen in our previous house, which was a two-toned blue and white kitchen. And I, since then, have also purchased some like very inexpensive plastic dishes for our kitchen that just really, I mean, they were cheap at the time and they just have not held up really well. And when I was setting up for the holidays this year, I found myself really wanting just all white dishes. I found that they could really go with any decor. While I have nice white china that's all packed away because we're in a rental, I wanted nice white everyday dishes, but I also didn't want to spend a fortune on them, which is why I went to Ikea. Now again, I spent a lot of time <laughs> in the dishware section, 
mainly because of the bowls. Now I'm gonna sound crazy, but my husband and I are a little bit particular about the bowl size that comes with our dishes because we do like to eat a lot of soups and my daughter, you know, has cereal and things like that. The actual size of the bowl does matter. We don't want anything to be too big and cumbersome that you don't really use it every day, but the bowl size also can't be too small either. Need, needs to be able to hold enough soup, let's say, if we're gonna have soup for dinner. So the bowl size was really, really important and also the plate size. I wanted something a little bit more modern. Um, so I wandered around the dish section for a while before finally settling on what I ended up getting. So this is kind of hard to hold up because it's very, very heavy, but here, this is the name of it. I don't even know if I can pronounce that. Um, but this is their stoneware collection. And they do have stoneware in a lot of different colors. I went with the white again because I have other colored dishes and I wanted something white and simple and neutral. And I like the bowls. You can see here the size of the bowls. And funny story is you can buy complete 18 piece sets of a lot of the different dishes they have at Ikea, but given the current state of everything, inventory levels are pretty low. So I first found these dishes loose on the shelf and I started collecting to try to make a set to purchase. And just by happenstance, I happened to look up on the shelf and saw a tag for it that said 1999 18 piece set. And I thought, oh my goodness, why am I trying to piece together a set when they actually have a complete set for sale like they do some of the other ones? Um, so I started looking around and I didn't see the complete set anywhere. So I pulled out the app. I looked on the app and they did say they had it, but possible limited stock. So I went on a hunt. <laughs> I probably did three or four loops through the whole dish section and I found the last set, 18 pieces already put together of this stoneware. So I didn't have to piece it together myself. And ironically, it's actually cheaper if I buy it as a full 18 piece set than if I were to purchase them all individually. So I was really excited that I was able to find and snag this. Moving right along into soft furnishings, I did walk through this fairly quickly. I don't really need any curtains or anything. One item in soft furnishings I did wanna take a look at were possibly some new pillow covers or cushion covers for the pillows we have on our couch. There's one pillow cover that I bought at Ikea years ago that I've kind of always hated. <laughs> I picked it up at the time because it was the only pattern or yeah, pattern that had sort of a color that matched what we had just literally painted the walls so it coordinated, but I've always hated the pattern. And so I have been thinking about maybe trying to find a new cushion cover to replace it. I've also been thinking about maybe changing the color palette in my living room. <laughs> My husband probably doesn't want to hear this. <laughs> right now we've got, you know, a gray couch and they're all very neutral. And we have a random pink throw blanket and a random pink pillow and a random teal blue blanket. And nothing really coordinates because it kind of went with our old house. Um, but I've been kind of feeling the color yellow lately. So I don't know why, but I have this vision for our living room to have accents of this bright yellow color. Maybe I'll do that this spring as well. So I thought I might test that with a new cushion cover. So I thought if I bought a new cushion cover to replace the one I hate with yellow, I could test it out in the space and see if it's a color I really want to start carrying throughout the whole room. So I purchased um, this one. And then this is just like a velvety plain yellow. And then the other cushion cover I got is this floral one. Now this one might read a little grandma-ish. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure yet if I like it or not. It was cheaper than the other one. I think this one was $7.99 and this one was $4.99. Um, but I liked it because it still brought in a little bit of that teal blue that I have, or tealy green that I have a throw blanket for. So it sort of pays homage to that. It does have the yellow in it. The next item I purchased was actually from the lighting section. This particular light was on display in another section of the marketplace and it kind of caught my eye and I thought, Hmm. Let me go check that out in the lighting section. Let me take a closer look at it because it was up on a high shelf. This is the Tarnaby light. And I also got the bulb that they had on display to go along with it. Sort of that Edison where you can see the, the filament. 
And I thought this would be great for maybe on my desk or on a shelf. I might actually have to hide it from my husband because I feel like it's a very industrial looking lamp, sort of reminiscent of like the old oil lamps, but obviously with a light bulb. I don't really love the red base to it. Um, they only have two colors. I don't know if it comes in more, but they had the red and the green on display, but they only had the red in stock. Honestly, I don't like either one of those colors, but I think this is actually a really easy fix. I'm probably just gonna tape it all off, tape off all the brass and the glass, and I'm probably gonna hit it with a little bit of matte black spray paint, and I think it'll look really nice like that, and it'll sit either on my desk or on a shelf. Keep an eye out. It might actually pop up in the background of some videos over on my real estate channel. Now this brings me to the last item and the largest item that I purchased at Ikea on today's trip. And that is actually the plant for our bedroom. So I have been on this sort of hunt to find the perfect plant for our bedroom to hide. A little bit of clutter that we have over in the back corner. You can't see it, it's off camera right now. Um, but I was looking for something of specific height uh, needed a little bit of you know fullness to it um, and I had really gone back and forth about getting a faux plant and a real plant. I always prefer real plants. I actually am really sad I had to give away all of my plants when we made the big move from New Jersey down to Georgia because they just weren't going to make the trip both in the car and obviously in the pods. So unfortunately I had to gift all of those plants away so I didn't have any plants so I've been you know itching to get back into purchasing some new plants. Um, my challenge was sort of two challenges with our bedroom. Number one, I wanted a full size plant already. I didn't want to have to buy something that was small that would grow. I, I just didn't want to wait for it to grow. I wanted it to be full size already and quite expensive if you're buying something that's already full grown. The other challenge I have is we're semi low light in this room. Even though the lighting in it is really good right now, we tend to have our blinds drawn most of the time. So it doesn't get a whole lot of light. And really, actually there's three things. The third reason I was going back and forth about getting a real plant versus a faux plant is we actually have carpeting in our bedroom. And our daughter is older, she's almost three, so she wouldn't necessarily be grabbing at the dirt in the pot per se, but I do have this fear that she would, or maybe that she might knock it over, or one of my dogs might knock it over, and I just, the idea of having to, you know, vacuum dirt out of a light beige carpet is not something I'm looking forward to. So in the end, ultimately I decided a faux plant was probably gonna be a better option for us. So now I'd been sort of on a hunt to find a good faux plant and something that didn't cost an arm and a leg. And again, finding one of the size I'm looking for can be quite costly. So of course I went to Ikea and they delivered. So this is the plant I ended up getting. This is called the Fedjka, I think it's called. I actually found this plant first in a box. It was all boxed up. I had never seen a faux plant boxed up like that before. And it was very confusing because I couldn't figure out exactly what it looked like and they didn't have any on display. So I was kind of looking around. There was another gentleman standing there too, kind of looking at it very confused. Um, but I turned around and I saw this and I realized it was the same name. And the only difference between the boxed one and this one so the box one was actually a little bit shorter and the leaves started up a little bit higher. I liked that the leaves on this one went down a little bit lower. Now, yes, it's a fake plant. Certainly if you go up close and you look at it, you're gonna be able to tell it's a fake plant, but it's just going in our bedroom, so that's fine for me. All my real plants will live downstairs anyway where the better light in the house is. One of the things I was really bummed about is I don't really love this potter. I mean, you can kind of see, I mean, it's just a plain black. And if you look in, I mean, it's so painfully obvious that it's a fake plant. So I will probably go to the dollar store and get some stones to put on top of that. But in the meantime, to hide this base, I actually do have something I'm going to use. I actually have this basket. You might recognize the shape. Ikea sells a very similar basket. Theirs is just plain natural color. This is black and natural uh, together. I actually picked this up at Lowe's about a year and a half ago. Um, and I was using this for an actual plant in my old house. Although ironically, I still have the tag on it. It's an Allen and Roth from Lowe's. So I'm gonna use this to put my planter in. The only challenge I have with this is that it's just a little bit too short. By the time I put this planter in it, it kind of goes even. I wanted something a little bit taller. There were so many other really cool things I found at Ikea. Now, I haven't really had a great opportunity to just leisurely walk through Ikea, especially in recent 
you know, given the times. So it was nice to be able to do that. There's a lot of really great products. Most of them new, were new, at least to me. Obviously I hit up the storage and organization section. They have some great black wire baskets, which will be great for pantry organization. They also had some cool circular baskets. I always hit up the organization section. I do need to organize my pantry one of these days as well. So many things on my list, but definitely some really cool things I found at Ikea that I did not purchase. Maybe I will in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this week's video and especially if you're still watching now and you made it through the whole video, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you being here. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and say hello in the comment section below. And if you like this haul type video, let me know too down below. Let me know some of your other favorite stores. Maybe I'll go shop them and share those hauls with you as well. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to join us along on this journey as we get settled down here in Georgia. I post cleaning motivational videos and a lot of DIY projects and room makeovers and setting up of this house down in Georgia. I'll see you on the next video. Um, um, tan, Sam, I don't know. <laughs> Dutch cock.